Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2 Secret Key Verification Plugin. And in today's video tutorial, I'll be showing you how the admin can set up this particular plugin and uh, the workflow and the customers and as well. So before we proceed further, let me give you a small gist about this particular plugin. So basically, uh, the uh, Magento 2 store owners would now be able to set up a verification system before a customer can download a downloadable product that has been purchased and uh, after that they can how they can view their particular downloadable product uh, so we'll be showing you that apart from that the admin would be able to enable and disable this particular feature and can set up the terms and conditions for downloading the products as with the web store policies on the other hand the customers uh, have to accept the terms and conditions and have to generate a token uh, to view and download their downloadable products after the order is complete or the invoice is generated from the admin's end. So let's get ahead and let's see how the admin would be able to set up everything and uh, how the customers would be able to do the same. So first of all, I'll be showing you the customer workflow. Uh, that is this uh, the actual flow of this particular plugin. And thereafter, I'll be showing you the backend configuration for the same. So let me take you to the web show front end first. So here I'm at the uh, Magento 2 web server right now and uh, uh, I'm not logged in right now. So here I'm having this particular downloadable product and uh, we have different trailers for that. So uh, now what I'll be doing is I'll be logging into my account first. So for that I'll tap on the sign in button. So what I'll do is I'll just log in using the temporary or the uh, demo thing. So let me log into my account panel first. So basically this uh, verification method helps the admin to check whether or check whether the particular customer is a verified one or not and after a customer has uh, purchased downloadable product from your Magento web, web store uh, they'll only be able to uh, download this particular product or view the product after they have accepted the terms and conditions and they have generated a token first and uh, they have uh, applied that token under the my downloadable section and only after that would the customers be able to view and download this particular downloadable product. So right now I've logged in my account as the John Doe's account and let me add this particular product to the cart first. And after that I'll be making a checkout. So I've added it into the cart and let me proceed to the checkout now. So let me check my payment method and let me place the order now. So here you can see that uh, we have this particular item that's the lifelong fitness for CD and uh, the order amount total is $45 uh, for this particular product. So my order has been placed. Now uh, let me navigate to my account section. And here what I can do is I can navigate to my downloadable product section. So as to check my downloadable products that I've uh, purchased from the Magento 2 web store. So I'll tap on the my downloadable products option now here you can see that uh, verification for the downloadable products uh, heading is there and uh, the admin has set up some terms and conditions that need to be agreed upon before a customer can generate the token can apply that token afterwards and can download his downloadable products thereafter and the downloadable product would be visible only after the token has been generated and has been applied on this under this particular section so what i'll be doing is i'll uh, check the uh, option for to agree to the terms and conditions for this web store and I'll tap on the generate token button now what this does is that it would send uh, an email uh, to my registered email and uh, I'll get a code there now what I need to do is I need to enter that particular code here uh, within this text box and I, I need to verify the code first before I can check my downloadable products that I've purchased from the from the Magento 2 web store so let me go to my email address and let me uh, copy that particular uh, verification code that I've received so I've checked uh, into my uh, email address and here's the email that I've received uh, and uh, here you can see the subject is confirmation your verification code is here this particular code and I need to paste it under my downloadable section so let me copy this code first and now I need to uh, paste that particular code here and now I need to tap on the verification code 
or the verify code button that you can see on the right hand side here if you have uh, asked the admin manually to generate the code then you need to check that option that is uh, from the admin the, co the option that you saw there so now you can see that uh, the code uh, has been verified successfully and uh, now I'm able to see all of my downloadable products that I've purchased uh, from the Amazon to do web store so the status is pending and the remaining downloads are unlimited so uh, after the invoice gets generated the customers would be able to see the status as uh, changed and can also find one downloadable link wherein they can download their downloadable products after the verification so let me show you that as well the customer has made a payment uh, that's uh, using the online system then uh, the customer would uh, after the verification code uh, has been uh, added under their account panel they will be directly able to download their download and view their particular downloadable products but if it's uh, a cash on delivery or something like that then the admin needs to generate an invoice before the customer can see the downloadable products under their account panel so let me take you further to the uh, uh, my account section my order section and we had the order that's the order number 55 so after the verification now the uh, uh, the customer would be able to see all of their downloadable products uh, under the my downloadable product section so here we can see that uh, we have our uh, order number 55 and the status is pending let me refresh the page once and now you can see that uh, the order number 55 we have the download link and the status is available right now so that's how the customer would be able to uh, first uh, uh, generate a uh, what we say as the verification code and that verification code is sent out to the uh, customer's uh, registered email address the customer copies that particular code under the my downloadable product section and after that the customer is able to download and view the uh, uh, the products or the downloadable products that for which he has placed the orders and then he can uh, easily download the downloadable products now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let me show you how the admin would be able to generate the verification code for the customers who are not able to do so under their own account panel so for that let me take you to the backend panel now uh, but before that let me uh, show you this section here for the customer now uh, after you have entered the uh, code that you've received on your email address you can directly tap on the verify code to verify your particular existence and thereafter you will be able to check all of your downloadable products but if uh, you're not able to generate the code uh, here or uh, if you're not received the uh, the code on your email address and you want the admin to do so then you need to check this uh, particular option that is is admin token and uh, then you can enter the code uh, uh, or the verification code that the admin has manually sent over to the customer and if you didn't receive the code then you can also tap here on this particular link to regenerate the verification code and can be sent out on your email address so uh, here the admin token uh, needs to be entered if you have not received the token on your email address and you need to check this box and then you need to verify the particular code to view your downloadable products now let me take you to the admin backend panel so i've logged into my admin backend panel and after the successful installation of this particular plugin the admin can see a token management uh, here uh, section on the side 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 panel and tapping that up brings up the sub menu option that is token details so i'll tap on that so basically under the token details the admin can see all of the tokens that the admin has generated on behalf of the customers and here the admin can also create a new token by tapping the create token button that you can see here on the right hand side and uh, here the admin can also delete any of the uh, tokens that he has already generated so to create a new token for the customers uh, the customer initially needs to uh, manually uh, email the admin for the issue that he is not able to generate the token and then the admin would come under this particular section here and he would tap on the create token button so as to generate a token for the customer so under the select customer option here the admin can choose the uh, customer who is asking for the verification code so we'll just select John Doe for this particular example and then we need to tap on the generate token button and here you can see a verification code has been generated now the admin can mail this particular 
verification code to the customer and then the customer can navigate to the my downloadable product section and they can verify this particular verification code before they can view their downloadable products or they can or uh, after that uh, what happens is that then the uh, customer first needs to uh, check the option token from admin enter this particular token verify verification done and the customer can download downloadable products so uh, that was much about the Magento 2 secret key uh, verification plugin. I hope uh, it somewhat helped you out. If you have any questions or queries regarding this particular module, then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or you may raise a ticket at webpool.uvdesk.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead.